In 1932, the United States Public Health Service began a study of the effects of untreated syphilis on black men in Macon County, Alabama. Participants informed consent was not collected. The study initially involved 600 black men, 399 with syphilis, 201 who did not have the disease. Researchers told the men they were being treated for bad blood, a local term used to describe several ailments, including syphilis, anemia, and fatigue. In exchange for taking part in the study, the men received free medical exams, free meals, and burial insurance. Four decades later, on July 25, 1972, Associated Press reporter Jean Heller broke news about the study, prompting the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare to appoint an ad hoc panel to investigate. In October 1972, the panel advised stopping the study, and a month later, the study was ended. The panel concluded in their final report that the previous research on African Americans with syphilis was ethically unjustified. At the study's conclusion, only 74 of the original 600 men were still alive. 40 of their wives had been infected, and 19 of their children were born with congenital syphilis. The advisory panel's investigation led to compensation for the victims of the research and new protocols for the ethical treatment of human subjects of research. Voluntary informed consent for research subjects became the new standard and an explicit requirement for government-funded research. In 1997, President Clinton issued a formal presidential apology for the Tuskegee syphilis study. During its investigation, the panel collected a broad variety of historical documents and other papers. In 1973, a copy of the panel's working papers was deposited in the National Library of Medicine, NLM, located on the campus of the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. Through this research and related public education made possible by the unique collection held by the NLM, as well as the National Archives, we acknowledge the participants in the Tuskegee study and the injustices they and their families suffered. We also acknowledge the work of the Tuskegee Syphilis Study Ad Hoc Advisory Panel to address the unethical actions of the study, which ushered in new protections for the rights of patients and which continue to evolve with new advances in science and medicine. The MLM collects and preserves collections such as that of the Tuskegee Study Ad Hoc Advisory Panel to improve transparency in research and to ensure that lessons of the past inform the present and future of biomedical research, healthcare, public health, and healthy behavior. <laughs>